Uh, let's see, AP, 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 everything's AP. Can okay, so by running near walls only curse out of combat. Every stone weaves a different story. Uh Ooh, I need one of those. <laughs> Welcome to Summoner's Rift. She moves so nicely. Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, she serves on her stone when near walls. That's pretty cool. Woo! <laughs> Man, that's fun, dude. <laughs> no. <laughs> A fucking stone car. <laughs> nice. Okay, that's a pretty neat idea. Alright, let's see what her Q is about. Threaded Volley hurls 5 rocks in the direction, dealing 60 plus 10 magic damage in a small area around the first enemy hit. Subsequent hits on the same unit deal 50% reduced damage. Crates work ground for 0 seconds. Tell against 0% movement speed on worked ground. Casting Threaded Volley on worked ground only hurts 1 rock but refunds half his mana rock. Uh, mana cost. Uh, okay, W. Target location. After a short delay, enemy scout within the area will be knocked up and dealt damage. Pick a direction. If you do, enemies will be pushed in this direction. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Unraveled Earth. Places a field of dash sensitive traps that deal 80 plus 10 magic damage and slow enemies in the area by 0%. After 4 seconds, the traps explode, dealing damage again. Enemies dashing, being pushed, or being pulled through and reveled earth will trigger traps. It only works if they're dashing, pushing, or being pulled through it. That right. Cast once to create a wall. Request immediately to right ahead of the wall. Moving or receiving damage will cause Talia to stop. This wall lasts for 6 seconds. Hmm. What do we go for here? Ten percent cooldown. It's uh, <laughs> probably this one, right? I uh, know. Doesn't seem to be good for jungle. Yeah, let's get W. Okay, and she's throwing stones as out attacks. It's pretty high cooldowns. I'm gonna try to knock these away from you next time. <laughs> okay. Nice to know. Couldn't have smited at that though. It was by accident. Um. Yeah, this probably works together with W, right? But I'm gonna get Q first. A tribe without tradition is a flock without a shepherd. Okay, that's AoE damage. What? <laughs> okay. Pretty good in terms of kiting, I guess. With that Q. Okay, if I use that again on the ground, it doesn't deal AoE damage, but it refunds mana. Right, good to know. Let's try it again. <laughs> and this is fun. Boom. Got pretty neat base damage, right? Why am I wrong? He plays the field. Okay, that's those traps. Oh, that's strange. That's new. Let's try it here. 
Oh, I should have thrown them in the other direction. That will take a while to get used to. People that want to play her. And the spells are pretty unique. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Um, okay, this. And this. And then Q. Okay. Like that, that's fine. Okay, we can get through the jungle, but it's rather slow because she has really high cooldowns. Probably want to go for a cooldown reduction on her. The earth here. Such colors. <laughs> this is so cool. The W is awesome. Can these stones be blocked? I have rocks. And he holds one rock. Keep your eyes on the horizon and your feet oh, on this... The this stays for over two minutes, like two and a half minutes or something. <laughs> so you probably want to go out of your work ground when you want to clear the jungle with her. Max that first. This feels so strange though. The cooldown is super low now. Oh, okay. It it appears with more contrast when you're on it. Oh no, I only threw one stone. It's really just the mana cost. Okay. So if you want to deal more damage, you should probably get out of those. Okay, I'll probably go for some uh, cooldown reduction on her and try to clear the jungle again. But we want to see her ultimate, right? What an interesting pattern. Um, okay, this creates a wall. Pretty big one. And recast immediately to right ahead of the wall. Okay, let's try. Whoa! This is so cool! And it's a fucking wall that lasts for six seconds, holy shit. If I stumble, I have the earth to catch you can just divide the whole mid lane or something. This is so cool. It's gonna be awesome in 5v5 games. If used correctly. It's also pretty thick. Cannot go through it with all the dashes, I think. Like Riven 3rd Q will probably, will probably not be enough for that. It's on a really high cooldown though. Nice dance. Okay, when she starts laughing, her cracks in the earth. I'm not afraid of you. Neat, not bad, right? Opportunity. 
It's only changed damage, cooldown, blah blah. I wonder if the ultimate is... Like, is that only cooldown when you level it up again? Every pebble holds infinite potential. Okay, you can also move while casting that, like... Ah! Okay, and these really only react to dashes and stuff. Alright, let's create another game and use this.